strong cloud. Again, don't see a lot of rotation. Do not see a funnel on the ground. There is a wall cloud there. Yeah, come over here. Actually, we've seen multiple lowerings. We cannot tell if one of these is producing anything at the moment. I'm having a hard time hearing you. I think you just asked if there was any reports of damage in Carter County. We just got the phone a couple minutes ago with Shelly Stallbush at the Carter County Emergency Management. We're going to zoom in on this a little bit. There are no reports of any damage, but of course, with the storm still moving through. There, now we can see it a lot better in the viewfinder. There's the wall cloud with multiple lowerings. We're seeing outside the Ardmore Studios, and that's one there. There, back to that direction, and even one further north. Any one of those areas could produce a tornado. We're going to go a little further south because we're still in the potential path of all this. But we can see what's going on. That's the good thing. Okay, we can't tell. There may be a tornado on the ground. There may be a tornado on the ground. We cannot tell. Multiple lower. And uh, we expect a good look at it here. There are multiple portions of the wall cloud here of the lowering southernmost one, middle part, further back toward the center of the cell. Um, these are the, this is the hook echo that's on the radar. This is the area. There is some rotation now. I can see in the center part, there's this lowering right there. Looks like some rotation right there. Yep. Can't tell if it's, yeah, if it's definite rotation there. That's gonna be the area of something farms. And in fact, it's farting a more, starting to look more like a funnel right now. Hard to tell if it's actually a tornado and if it's on the ground at this point. This is Joe, hello. Yes, we're tracking this thing. I'm north of town right now shooting the wall cloud and the rotation. Okay, it looks like uh, that it looks now like it is forming a tornado. It is looking like it is twist rotating. It looks like a funnel is now on the ground. We have, yes, a definite funnel. It's getting wider to the, it's about three miles north and probably six or eight miles west of Ardmore. It looks like it's moving to the east northeast. Definite rotation. It's a wall cloud. Can't tell for 100% sure if it's on the ground or not, but it sure looks like it is from here. And if it is, it's a big funnel. I'm talking into the camcorder while I'm talking to you. Okay, so it's north of Ardmore. There's another cell, though, back to the south and west that's also capable of producing a tornado. But right now, we don't see that one at all. We're just looking at this one. We see the rain-free base, and there's the lowering and the wall cloud. It's probably southwest of Springer, about three or four miles. It's getting close to I-35. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. That's what we want to do. All right, we're going to leave the camcorder right here, and I'm going to keep answering phone calls. Yes, sir. That's where I'm, I'm shooting right now from up by the Dalby Ranch, straight west and it is west-northwest of me. It's harder to tell now whether it's actually on the ground. For a while, it made that distinctive wedge funnel shape, and, and it was definitely rotating, and it was rotating good. So now, okay, now we're seeing something. We're still seeing rotation with the clouds pretty rapid down, by the, down close to the ground. We've got a uh, little ridge with some trees in the way. But if there is a tornado, that is exactly where it's going to be. The other part of the wall cloud is not looking like it's very significant at all. And I, I have not heard anything, and I haven't looked at the radar. Uh, there's another wall cloud there, but it's not rotating. All the rotation is back in that cell. Now it's starting to get rain wrapped. There's rain starting to come out of the wall cloud just to the south side of it. And again, it looks like there's some small funnels trying to form out of that wall cloud. You can see underneath it now. I'm going to try to keep my camcorder out of the rain, but that's not going to be easy to do necessarily. 
And if the rain gets any harder, we're gonna have to move again. But I don't think it's on the ground right now, but boy, it is still rotating. It's a wall cloud, a definite wall cloud, back to the west-northwest, and uh, it's on, still on the other side of the interstate. And it does not look like anything's on the ground. Well, yeah, but we can see underneath the base. And we can... Okay. I think you should be okay, unless, huh? Let the windmill straight up over here, come back up in the clouds. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there, there's also some circulation in that part of the wall cloud, too. It's starting to go back up in the clouds. Yeah, we do see another thing. Looks like it's starting to form a funnel to the south of there. Quite a ways. Closer to you, Michael. Michael's not on the phone anymore. Okay, we, yeah, that's definitely starting to look like a funnel. It would be pretty dang close to you. It may not be a funnel, it's a, it's a fun, vertical funnel-shaped cloud. It doesn't look like it's rotating very much, though. That may Hanging. still be just an updraft. Hanging low. The cloud, what the, what, it's separated in the, the, the storm now has two different, looks like distinct circulation areas. One of them is closer to Ardmore. The other one looks like it's going to head on up into the Arbuckles.